Hello everyone. Um, today I'm going to teach you uh, how to make easily make uh, uh, how to how to model how to model a spiral staircase very easily in Stat Pro. Uh, now, uh, uh, as per convention, we can uh, we can make spiral staircases, but in a very difficult method where uh, first with the help of a formula that's uh, conventional to stat pro uh, you uh, make the frame and then you pu actually put plates over it now if you have five floors you will have to make the frame and you will have to place the plates one by one to get a circular style uh, now the method that i'm going to teach you uh, today it's a very easy method where uh, you just uh, make a spiral uh, staircase for one floor and you just copy that and paste it uh, that it just goes like control c and a control v uh, the, the uh, paste paste process obviously uh, goes about uh, a particular uh, reference point of uh, the model now 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 uh, let me open up stat pro for that i'm opening stat pro up okay there now uh go for a new project and uh suppose i name it spiral tutorial tutorial okay yeah oh, sorry i'm giving it t extra tutorial uh meter and kilonewtons next then finish it there we have the workspace now we switch off the grid now and we open the stat editor now we place the cursor uh, at 79 put an enter uh, put a blank uh, blank space vertically over there and we write unit in caps unit m kilonewtons kilonewton we again press enter and write joint coordinate cylindrical cylindrical reverse that's what we write then we write the commands one space one space zero space zero comma space 24 space one space three space 360 okay then we put an enter and then again write 25 space uh, three space zero space zero comma space 48 three three and then 360 and then automatically uh, finishes there now let let me make you understand why uh, uh, we put this formula and what these values are first of all uh, the one that you see uh, over there but the first first one uh, the one I'll show you um, this one this particular one is the first node number it is the first node number I mean suppose if uh, let, let let me produce uh, let me save it first let me save it first and then I'll show you what happens there we are now if I rotate it you'll be able to see there is a spiral now let me make you understand what this code means it's actually very easy let me switch on the node numbers okay and then we go to start it now the uh, this one is actually the first node number of the first spiral that you see over here the node number of the first spiral that's this this is the node number of the first spiral and um, uh, accordingly accordingly um, 24 is the last node number of the first spiral 25 accordingly is the first uh, node number of the second spiral and 48 is the last node of the second spiral now let me show you that uh, as i just showed you hold on yeah. as you can see uh, 25 is the first node of the second spiral and 48 is the last node of the second spiral here we can see the spiral Mm, let me go to the style editor now this one that you see over here that I have selected that's the diameter of the spiral now 
this whole command is for the is for the first spiral that is this one the th this command is for this spiral and this command is for the larger spiral that you see over here for the larger spiral this one okay now for th for the smaller spiral that you get that you see the inner spiral the first first node is one the uh, diameter is one uh, this zero is uh, the height and this zero is the angle as you can see the angle obviously over here is zero now when you when we are talking about suppose the, the, the first node is one then the last node is 24 over here as you can see now the last node comes all around and makes an angle of 360 degree with with the co co coordinates that's the reason we have put a 360 degree over here now for the second spiral the first node is 25 um, its radius is obviously more than the uh, smaller spiral it's three uh, the height of the spiral uh, i mean the height of the first node is obviously zero uh, it starts from the level zero and the angle obviously with the reference of the uh, um, of the axis is zero now when if you're talking about the last point that's 48 then the node number is 48 the uh, the diameter is obviously now three as it's of the uh, larger spiral the three this three is the height as we have come this the comma from 25 to 48 and as we have come from 25 to 3 to 48 making an angle of 360 degree so this is 360 so we're done with that we cross this out we have this spiral over here now okay now what we do is um, now what we do is we take the uh, generate surface meshing tool from here and we start joining now before we do that make sure to uh, uh, make sure to go to symbols and labels go to structures and fill plates solids and surfaces apply and then okay because this particular option will help us uh, recognize if the surface that we are generating uh, have uh, has um, up the, uh, the top surface on the top or the top surface on the bottom so uh, I'll show you that if we draw the surface in an anti-clockwise direction then you will have the top surface on the top I'll show you if I switch off the node number over here and put it on top view yeah if I put it on top view you'll be able to see that the upper surface is green and if I try to see it from the bottom the lower surface is actually gray okay so that's the orientation we want now if we switch this off from structures and fill, fill plate solid surfaces it it uh, it turns it like this and see we won't be able to recognize uh, uh, the to, uh, which one's the top surface which one's the bottom surface so we don't do that so what we do is switch on structures and uh, uh, symbols uh, we switch uh, to symbols and labels go to structures fill plate solids and surfaces and press an ok so we got uh, we have got uh, a particular layer over there uh, that shows us that we have the top surface on the correct face now we keep joining these particular nodes as you can see me doing uh, as you know uh, you uh, if, if, if you have done status spiral staircasing it will you will be quite familiar with this and uh, you'll have to according to my method that uh, you'll have to at least complete uh, positioning plates at, at uh, placing the plates uh, for at least one floor and then you can go for a copy paste uh, for a control C and a control V so uh, let me complete with that and uh, sorry uh, let me complete with that and then I'm going to come back to you okay Uh, now as you can see um, I'm done with almost done with my meshing part. I wanted to show you how to mesh the last part of uh, The spiral staircase as it's it's a little bit tricky if you understand it's not at all tricky <laughs> now uh, Let me show you 
suppose if we are talking about uh, the these two uh, joining these four points this 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 and this if we are talking about join, joining those points you will be able to notice that uh, i have done most of my uh, plate uh, plating uh, in the top view because it's pretty easy uh, uh, to pr produce the plates in the top view now uh, for these these particular four points if i uh, draw it in uh, the top view then you will be able to notice that um, i by by mistake i can join these two points this 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 and this because uh, if we look at the top view over here this point is not actually one point this point is actually coinciding two points so that's the reason we'll have when we are drawing that particular plate we'll have to uh, draw it in isometric view we take the plate cursor and then we draw the last plate that we require okay uh, no, no. quadrilateral apply there we are we have first now completed making our spiral staircase it's awesome isn't it now let us see it in 3d rendered view yep it's absolutely fine okay now comes the fun part uh we have made a spiral staircase if you want you can actually save this this part as a model as a prototype and then you can just bring it and then you can edit the height the whatever you want to and uh, you can juggle with it it's not a not a big issue now now we have made the basic uh the ba basic spiral staircase and from here we'll, we will be producing staircases as much as we want suppose we have a five floor five floor building then we will be making uh, according we will be making staircases accordingly now suppose if i want a um, three story building what i do is uh, mm, let's make it a two story building what say okay uh, two story okay three story uh, we what we do is we go to select and go to up the plate cursor we take the plate cursor and select the whole spiral see my whole sp uh, spiral is selected now what we do is we put a control c and then control v what we get is this dialog box we go to the reference point now ref what is reference point reference point is the point about which the whole object gets copied i mean suppose if i put this particular point as you can see this blue point over here over 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 at this point then the whole spiral staircase will be pasted about that particular point now if i show you maybe able, able, able you'll be able to understand now uh i press ok and now what i do is maximum i mean uh, magnify it and we have got this particular cursor as you can see a special type of a cursor it's a it's a it's a paste cursor what you do is you select the reference point about which you have selected the um, the spiral i just click on that particular point and what we get is this dialog box again it's the paste dialog box yeah our, uh, stat pro has automatically taken the coordinates required we just press ok let it generate because it has a lot of plates to generate right so it may take a little time if it if your machine is not strong enough now see what we get what we get is this and um, we have suppose we have the third floor what we do is we again select this particular node uh, accordingly you can see auto uh, i mean sorry the stat, stat pro has again uh, automatically taken the coordinates up and we just need to press ok stat pro will automatically generate the nodes it will generate the plates and whatever required let it generate i'll show you then that was the modeling part actually uh, we are done with the modeling that was the difficult part that we were talking about um, okay so uh, that that was the difficult part that we were talking about now now it has become pretty easy and if i uh, show you in the 3d rendered mode uh what you'll be able to see is this pretty magnificent isn't it 
now what we do is uh, suppose we want to test it out let's take it for a run let's test drive it okay uh, let's go to general we put supports to it uh, let us let us switch off this uh, plate uh, plate thingy uh, because it's creating quite a ruckus okay now we create fixed supports we have uh, sorry uh, we have the node cursor we have the node cursor and uh, then we magnify it like so so that we can easily s select the nodes we select this node uh, can press control and do it control select this 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 be very be very careful about which node you're selecting because it's pretty crucial that you select the correct node or the design may fail okay um, select the correct node because over here it may seem a little difficult for you to actually select the nodes there we have the node and uh, oh my god we'll have to select the nodes again because I didn't select the supports so there that's not an issue we can easily select the node in this particular view and then assign there we have the fixed supports at that particular end and then we put the nodes at this corner we select the nodes sorry we select the nodes about which we want to put the fixed support there and we assign it again okay we're done with that um, these processes are uh, more or less very conventional now we put in the property we just uh, to go to section dat database sorry that's for steel we go to thickness we go to thickness the uh, plate element thickness so suppose we give a thickness of uh, 0.15 meter suppose we add it and then uh, we go to the plate cursor plate cursor assigned to selected plates and we assign it done let's see it in the 3d rendered mode looks pretty awesome isn't it now um, let's give it a load uh, let's just give it a self load nothing else um, we put sorry dead load over here d l add close let's put a load case here at self weight add close okay and you go for assign to view and we're done with the signing right now let's run it and see what comes out to be uh hold on let's go for a post analysis print okay now let's perform an analysis of the whole thing and then what we do is run the analysis let's see if we get any errors or something like that I hope that there isn't any error because we have followed the conventional steps and um, we've improvised a little on that it's not very complicated that we'll get a lot of warnings right or errors I don't expect those now let's see it's completely upon stat pro what it will be okay so that's a good news we have zero error zero warning and zero notes so uh, it's awesome now let's go for post processing apply and okay so here we are let's look at the animation part i love the animation part over here if we go to a reflection see it's an awesome animation right so that's how you can actually create the spiral staircase um if we uh, do not copy well, if we do not follow this copy and paste method it's going to take a lot of time um, if we uh, if, if we are thinking about a f f th three floor or a fourth four floor uh, spiral staircase that's the reason we should follow this particular method of uh, producing a spiral